What's up, Berserker Patriot Store family? I'm going to read you something. But I want you to understand what Paul had to go through in the name of Christ. For those of you who don't want to suffer, let me show you what some of the people had to go through to stand up for Christ. I repeat, let no one consider me a fool, but if you do, at least accept me as a fool, so that I can also boast a little. What I am saying is the matter of boasting. I don't speak as the Lord would, but as it were foolishly, since my boast according to the flesh, I will also boast for you being so wise gladly put up with fools. In fact, you put up with it if someone enslaves you, if someone exploits you, if someone takes advantage of you, if someone is arrogant toward you, if someone slaps you in the face. I say, this is to our shame. We have been too weak for that. But in whatever anyone dares to boast, I am talking foolishly. I also dare, are they Hebrews? So I am. Are they Israelites? So I am. Are they descendants of Abraham? So I am. Are they servants of Christ? I'm talking like a mad madman. I'm a better one with far more labors, many more imprisonments, far worse beatings, many times near death. Five times I received forty lashes, minus one from the Jews. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I received a stoning. Three times I was shipwrecked. I have spent a night and a day in the open sea. On frequent journeys I faced dangers from rivers, dangers from robbers, dangers from my own people, dangers from Gentiles, dangers in the city, dangers in the wilderness, dangers at the sea, and dangers among false brothers. Toil and hardship, many sleepless nights, hunger and thirst, often without food, cold and without clothing, not to mention other things. There is the daily pressure on me, my concern for all the churches, who is weak, and I am not weak, who is made to stumble, and I do not burn with indignation. If boasting is necessary, I will boast about my weakness, the God and Father there of the Lord Jesus, who is blessed forever, knows I am not lying. In Damascus, a ruler under King Atreides guarded the city of Damascus in order to arrest me. So I was let down in a basket through a window in the wall and escaped from his hands. Tonight we'll move on to uh, verse 12 in Corinthians. But look at all the things Paul had to go through to speak out for Christ. So when you say you don't want to sacrifice right now, I want you to understand. Listen to last night's reading from the Bible. You're meant to stand up and sacrifice right now. That's where we're at in the Bible. That is our only duty as Christian brothers and sisters is to stand up and sacrifice and fight evil. Um, go back and listen to all my Bible readings. It's, it's pretty apparently clear. I don't interpret the Bible into my mind for you. I read straight from the Bible. If you, if you think this needs to be interpret, interpreted, you're wrong. I mean, you can't get any more self-explanatory than what you're reading. You just have to apply what you're reading to this time and to understand the fact that these are prophecies 
for now, okay, um, this is after Jesus Christ already came, this is the disciples speaking and writing letters about what is to come, it's just gonna get bad, but as followers of Christ, you're not supposed to live in fear of human things, all you churches shutting your churches down for COVID all these years, that was demonic grace. I'm sorry, but it needs to be said. Um, if you just go to church and you bend a knee on Sundays, and every time you do something wrong and you realize it, or every time something good happens for you, you don't thank God for it, then you're probably not following the right path. If you think that you're a righteous person, but you live in this flesh, and nobody that lives in the flesh is um, free of sin, then you're probably not following the right path. Because this part of the Bible is not um, sunshine and rainbows. It's doom and gloom. Jesus is coming down out of the sky with a sword in his hand to cause mayhem. He's not coming back with love this time. Do you understand? So all the rainbows and sunshine churches out there right now, please please just read from the Bible and understand ask for discernment because that's all I do I ask for God to tell me what he wants me to fill and my heart is going on with the Bible and then in my mind he wants me to read from the Bible and not interpret his Bible but I'm a warrior for Christ I'm not a um, I'm not an epistle I'm not a preacher um, I don't think in that capacity so I will fight to save others at the expense of my own soul if I have to. Do you understand this? As Christian brothers and sisters, we should be speaking together on a daily basis right now with everything that's going on in America. Regardless of the election bullcrap, regardless of anything else, you just need to look around and understand that we need to unite with each other. That's all there is to it. We need to help each other, we need to stand with each other, we need to speak for each other. Um, that's all there is to it. The Bible demands it of us. If you say you believe in the Bible and you don't want to come and help me get more congregations together and millions and millions of Christians in the same grouping just to talk about God and understand that we need to stand with each other, then I'm sorry. I'm, I fear for Christianity. Like the Bible says, not many will come to the glory of God in the end of times. And that sucks, man. And it's our job to try to help lead other people. Do you understand this? It's our job to not tolerate the evil. Do you get it? I love you guys. Have a blessed day.